And welcome to the 1% Glove Club. You are, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you guys. I was multitasking and couldn't talk and type on my keyboards at the same time. Great to see everybody. Rhonda Fisher, Robin Mann, what's going on? Danesha, Sandra, Archie, Joanne Poland. Hey there, it's dark where Joanne is or she's in a tunnel. So it's light out here in, in Puerto Rico. How could it possibly be dark where you are? Alex, my man. Love you, buddy. Alex keeps sending me quotes from Oswald Chambers. I think that was you. That was profound. If you haven't read Oswald Chambers, great book. David Mills, love you, buddy. Good to see you. And uh, Don Peach is in the house, everybody. Trisha, it's going to be a good day. Okay. Teresa, I see you there. Ritzburg Realty, looking pretty ritzy, baby. I like it. And Dalton, what's up, girl? What's up, girlfriend? Chris French. My man, uh, every time I see you, Chris, I just want to grab my gun and go shoot something. You know, he's from Minnesota. They hunt and they fish. The funny thing is, I don't own a gun, but I just look at Chris and I want to shoot something. Anyways, let's get going. What's up, Clark? Good to see you. I like the uh, the little uh, gold stream there in the background. Looking good. Mm. Let's get it on. Okay, take some notes. This is going to be so good. Jim Fury, welcome. So good to see you. Sonia, welcome. Okay. Let's get it going. So what am I focused on right now? What am I doing to prepare myself to have a great 2024? And I want to share what I'm doing because Robert Smith and Julie, this is what some great fodder for you to kind of get your blood flowing. I want you to grab a yellow notepad and to create the future. If you notice, this is my must do list, man. Boom, 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 boom. Got it all done, baby, with the quote at the bottom, which I will read at the end. And this was my, my must from Friday, my, my get it done list. And then I got, it got serious yesterday. It's like, this must happen. Like Papa Bear, that's me. I'm not going to bed till it's done. And if you look, Every single thing is check, 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 check. It's all done. And it creates endorphins. You feel good about yourself. So um, so you want to win, start getting stuff done on your list. You know, call that prospect, call that listing, call that buyer, set up a, a luncheon, set up a, a Christmas party, do this, do that. That's what you want to do. And you start feeling good about yourself. But you also want to create. You want to sit down with a cup of coffee, hot tea, whatever your jam is, and to what is it you're going to do in 2024, Darren, with that beautiful yacht? What is it that you're going to do to experience something different? You're going to hire a coach. You're going to attend, um, you know, uh, um, a John Maxwell event. Are you going to go to whatever it is you're going to do? Like, and then like whatever's gotten you here, it's not going to get you to where you want to be. Like what you're you're thinking that got you here is not going to take you to your goals and dreams. You're going to have to do some different things if you want different results. And you're and right now winter's here. It's full on here. This this market corrected in July of 2005. The, that market and, and then it went till April 2011 and it was it was hard but foreclosed. Then April took off, bam, and it went like a, a raging bull, bull run. And this market was crazy for 11 years, spurred on by COVID. It went from April 2011 till about June 2022. And here we are in almost December 2023. We're a year and a half into this correcting market. It's going to go another year and a half, two, two and a half, three years, whatever it is it is. This is the moment you found out what daddy's made of, what mama's made of. It, 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 I'm not happy that the weak ones are going to fall away, but they're going to fall away. And you don't want to be one of those. So how do you not become one of those? You hang out like I'm preaching to the choir. This is the 1% club. You get around people who think differently. I'm hanging out with Tony Robbins. I'm hanging out with Grant Elena Cordell. I'm hanging out with John Maxwell. Um, I'm hanging out with Gary Brecka. I'm hanging out with Gene Frederick. I'm hanging out with Jay Kinder. I'm hanging out with other leaders. They rub off on me. They think differently. And, and when I used to sell 40 homes a year, I hung out with people who sold 40 homes a year. And then I started hanging out with a guy. I'd fly 3,000 miles to visit with him. He was selling 600 homes a year. Five years later, I was selling 55 homes a month. Okay. Closing yeah. 
Someone's uh, you got to mute your mic. Someone. So the bottom line is this. When you hang out with people who are doing what you want to do, Tony Robbins calls that a model. Model, like who's winning in this market and what's it going to take to succeed in this market? So Pastor Francis is here. My dear friend just flew in from Northern California. He wouldn't wave at Pastor Francis. He just traveled in. Look at that. Right now, he's been traveling for two days. Missed his uh, connection in Dallas. Anyways, that's my... My buddy, me amigo, my golfing buddy for 25 years. See the golf clubs he's pulling behind him? It's a beautiful day. Okay, so so I want you to know this stuff I am. So here's some things I wrote down for myself at 10X Couples Retreat in the Bahamas a month ago. I went there to hang out with my wife to have a better relationship, a better relationship. So here's the deal. I wrote, what am I focused on for 2024? And I think this will... This will help you. So what I'm focused on in 2024, I put focus on love, focus on forgiveness, focus on joy, focus on the vision, speak life, stand strong, focus on heaven, not earth, right? Be like the long range. You know, there's a short game, this earth thing, you know, it's I get a million dollars on my 401k. I own 400 properties. Hey, good for you. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do those things and you shouldn't have a big EXP organization, but if you haven't figured this one out, you're going to be dead lots longer than you're going to be alive. So make sure you get that faith component. There's the five S right. Family, faith, finances, fitness, and fun. Family, faith, finances, fitness, and fun. The five F's, right? One of them is faith. Like you don't want to miss that part of your life. And if you have questions about, I just don't get it. I'm I'm not there. Talk to me, reach out to me, reach out to somebody else that you admire. Who you think that person is good. They, they, they're, I'm not saying good gets you to heaven. That's not what I'm saying, but you find somebody like, I think they have integrity and character. I want to know, I want to know about your faith. So I, I won't, I won't overdo that one for you, but I put I'm I'm the chief, the chief dreamer and visionary, chief dreamer and visionary. Are you the chief dreamer? Are you the chief visionary of what you're doing? Man, this is like a pastor conference. There's Pastor George from the Rock of Gainesville right there. And uh, my pastor from Northern California, Rock of of Roseville. This is great, man. It's like a pastor hangout. These are the people I like to hang out with. Anyways, but we're going to be crazy golfers. Um, So here's the deal. Focus on giving. Let's out give. How much? Oh, I need more for myself. You want more? Give more. You. It doesn't have to be money. You think it goes to my. It could be a hug. It could be a word of encouragement, a word of knowledge. It could be, man. I, I see this in you, and you point out what you see in people. Love, encouragement. Do we? Don't we just hate people who encourage us? Oh, we hate it so much, and they love us unconditionally, like your dog. You just hate your dog. You want to kick your dog. Your dog comes up wagging. They're so glad to see. Don't you just hate your dog? Of course, you don't hate your dog. The reason you don't hate your dog is your dog loves you, even maybe when you kicked it, right? Even when you kick the dog, even when you're misbehaving, your dog says, "I forgive you." Comes up maybe timidly. And I haven't kicked my dog in three or four days. But the rest of you said, I'm kidding. I don't even have a dog out here. But the point is this. Quit kicking the dog and be that person. You enter the room. You love people. Oh, gee, I feel awkward. It feels funny. So thinking of yourself. Thinking of yourself. Walk in the room. Who can I love? Who can I meet? Be bigger than life. What's bigger than life? Love. What's bigger than life? Giving. Not being selfish or thinking of self, but being selfless. And so I put it's it, check this out. I put it's my job to look into the future for the next year, for the next five to 10 years, for the next 100 years. Like, you know, again, I'm not going to preach to you. I always want to be a pastor. So I'll, I'll just say this. It says a good man give, or woman gives an inheritance to his children's children. Talk to Pastor George. We went golf to Teo Cocuster because I have something to give to my kids. I'm like, I'm not excited about it. And he goes, well, it's not biblical. I'm, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, well, you lost all credibility when you go quote in the Bible for crying out loud. I'm kidding. But oh, uh, but because I've, I've met people in real estate. Well, when my parents die, I could buy a house. I'm like, well, how old are your parents? Like 95 and 97? Like, no, they're like 65 and 67. I go, are they in bad health? No, they're fine. So you're going to wait. Like if they go quick in 10 years from now, 10, 20, 30, if, if they happen to go, I mean, it's crazy. And I go, I don't want my kids to want me to die. 
I just don't want that. So I, I've always told my kids, make your own money. Mom and I are giving it away. We're giving away charities. We're giving it away. We love you. We'll help you buy your first home. We'll put you through college. We'll help you with the getting married and all that stuff. But there's, we're not, this thing going to be like the gravy train. But then Pastor George goes, quote, in the stupid Bible. Just kidding. The Bible's not stupid. I know. Don't throw anything at me. I'm having fun with you guys. Loosen up, you know, loosen up. But uh, he's like, you know, a good man gives an inheritance to his children's children. Doggone it. And he goes, you know, really, it's more of a parenting issue. When someone's waiting for their mom or dad to die, they've kind of failed in that area of parenting and guiding their kids. I get it. They're adults. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I got to deal with this. So it's not that I don't want to bless my kids. I just don't want to handicap them. I don't want to cripple them all. So again, it's my job to look into the future this year, next five to 10 years, hundred years. So when I say it's my job, it's your job. I'm not going to do it for you. I'm going to try to create culture. I'm going to try to create a foster an atmosphere of love, acceptance, forgiveness, kindness, you know, to be that person who walks in the room. Chris Fritch is here, baby. Chris is here. And he's that kind of guy when he walks in the room. Oh, baby, man, Robert Rogers here. I love that guy. That's the coolest guy in the world. What's up, Robert? I like the beard. You're looking good, baby. But here, so here's the deal. Yeah, see? But, you know, oh, my God, David Lawson's here, man. I love that guy. Hey, David, you just think I don't, I don't watch you guys. I look at you guys while I'm talking to you. I totally know who's on these things. I know who's the movers and shakers are. But here's the deal. When you walk into the room, do you lift the temperature? Well, it's not me. I'm not. No. Why do you love your dog? Because the dog loves us. He comes up wagging. He's so excited in your ear. I'm not saying we have to act like dogs. But I'm telling you, when you walk in the room, be excited to see people when you forget their name, go, I'm sorry, what, what was your name again? I know I asked you last time, but I, I want to get it. It's important. Oh, it's Alex. It's Alex Soriano. Oh, hey, Alex. I, I asked again because I care. I, I know I should have got it. I know it's the second time I asked you. And if I have to ask you a third time, I will. But I, I think you're a great person. And, and sometimes I don't get it right. But don't people, oh, shoot, I can't remember that guy's name. What's his name? Like, hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, you know, because you're embarrassed, you can't remember the name. Go ask her name. You know, the most beautiful word in the English dictionary is David. It's Rhonda. It's Brian. It's Brent. It's someone's first name. It's, man, he remembered my name. John Maxwell remembered my name, and he didn't. But, right? It's like, oh, my gosh, so-and-so remembered me. Do you take the time to remember people's name? Become what you are. So um, I'll say this. It's my job to dream up fun and effective ways for building everyone's business. That's my job. And I think it's your job too. Are you dreaming up fun? Like, what do you got planned for December? Well, my house isn't that nice. I don't have much money. Do you have an office? I got a little office at Regis. So did I. I had a little office. had four desks in it. And I would get everyone together on Friday nights and there'd be like 15 to 20 of us jammed in there. And I would make popcorn and I would have little hot chocolate packets and then there'd be hot apple cider. And then we'd have a, maybe a bottle of red wine and someone might have a glass of wine. Someone might have a cold beer. There, it wasn't like everyone grabbed a sixer and we got loaded at Brent's office. It was not like that. But I, if someone wanted a cold drink and then we'd watch a video, it, some people sipped on hot coffee, some people hot chocolate. Um, and so uh, each to his own, but that's what I did on Friday nights. That's my idea of a good Friday night. Did it many, many, many Friday nights. And then people were able to come gather and we're watching Eric Warre. You know, he's doing his big Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. Hopefully you signed up for it. I was invited to this today. Um, a lot of you will know who I'm about to talk about because I'm going to show you a picture. I think this guy's incredible. Um, here it is. Boom. Oh, shoot. Did I get the wrong one? So I was invited to this today. It says free live webinar 2024, the year of chaos, December 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Add to count, hit the button. And this man right here, this is his name is David. Bet Bet David. What is his name? I know his name. I'm just blanking out. Um What's his name? David, Bet David. He's got a funny name. Who knows his name? Unmute yourself. I know his name, but I'm Patrick but David. Patrick David. Brent, it's Patrick Bedavid. Patrick Bedavid. Thank you, Thanks. Drew. The guy's a stud. And, um, um, you know, I'm going to send this to, uh, he's amazing. I mean, he'll talk about Hamas, boom. 
He'll talk about Biden, boom, Trump. He'll talk about, he's got huevos. So I'm going to, Rob, um, Rob's listening. Rob, I'm going to text this to you and maybe you could post it in the chat. Um, oh, that's good. coming up next week at 7 p.m. Eastern. The guy's really intelligent, built a huge business. I think he sold it for a quarter of a billion. I mean, he's just, he's in a, he's a, he's a great guy. 2024, the year of chaos, how to survive in this thing. And he is a really, really intelligent man. What Stuff day like next week? What day next week? Just Sorry. sign up it'll be in the chat. I don't know the day, but it'll be in the chat. Okay. It Thank is you. in the chat. Tuesday. Yep. Tuesday. So next Tuesday, a week from today, 7 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. for me here out here at Atlantic. I'm going to check this. Check what I'm doing. Okay, good. So are you dreaming up ways and effective ways to, to build everyone's business and have fun? Remember our EXP, making real estate fun again. Are you making it fun again? Because right now it's winter. Right now it's a grind. And so you got to make it fun when it's a grind. That's what leaders do. They listen to me. I'll, I'll give my I'll give my quote I was gonna end with today because I just can't wait. And um, it's at the end of my to-do list. It wasn't that I didn't get it done, but it's right there. You ready? Followers follow the culture, leaders create culture. I'll say it again. Followers follow the culture, they do what the end thing is. Leaders create the culture. So let me ask you a question. What are you creating? I'm always creating stuff. I'm Gene and I are creating the Puerto Rican uh, golf invitational open and everybody's going to be invited. And the first 120 golfers that sign up, we're going to take over a hundred million dollar golf course just to come hang out with you guys. That's all it's going to be. We'll hang out. We'll probably get on the naughty nickel and we'll run through the jungle. And we're doing that. I have my inner circle program. I have my 1% club. I have my Maui event, my Cabo event, my build a bit. You're like, well, that's you, Brent. It's not me. I started with hot chocolate in my office with four desks, which Rob is in now. Rob, are you still in that? Are you in that office right now? Are you in my office, Rob? I am not, but I usually am. Okay. He could have spun it around four desks. I'm still in that office seven years later. It's $950 a month is what it's gone up a little bit. It's Regis. Okay. It's probably gone up a lot of it over seven years. Regis are masters to extort, extorting money from you. They're like Remax or Keller Waves. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. But anyways, the point is this, that they're good about raising, but I'm still there and I would get people in my office. So I did that before I was like, had a big business. So um, we're going to keep going, but I want to say this. It's my job to lead, to love, to forgive. It's my job to empower department heads and trust them to get their job done. And, and Drew works for me. Rob works for me. I am not a micromanager. I, Drew wouldn't work for me if I didn't trust Drew. Um, Rob wouldn't work for me if I didn't implicitly trust Job. And not that I don't implicitly trust you, Drew. I implicitly trust you. I didn't use the implicitly word with Drew, but Rob, um, you know, Rob's got more years under his belt than Drew. And I implicitly trust Drew and Rob. But man, wow. And I'm I have a lot of people to run the machine. I think we have 20 full-time staff today. But do you empower? your head of your graphics department or your, your social media department or your marketing department or whatever it is that your people do for you, do you empower them to get the job done? Check in with them. I, I check in. We talk. Carolyn, real quick. I'm going to run out of time today, but go ahead. I see your hand up. I believe the chat needs to be enabled. A couple other people have messaged yeah. me in the back. What's wrong? The chat needs to be enabled. We don't have a chat to receive the con the what you want to send in the chat. Um, is everybody, wave at me, chat. see the chat, wave at me. Do you guys see the chat? Are you I seeing it? Oh, interesting. No. I, I see they, a chat. I see a chat and I put the link in there to everyone. Interesting. Nobody one sees see. it. I'm getting no from okay. every single person. There's that no chat at the bottom. There's I'll no look at settings. Uh, the link will be in your email that I send out with the recording tomorrow morning. Carolyn, thank you. Just thank you, help. Carolyn. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so um, I don't think I get the email. So if you want to be added to the email, you can email, I would think, Rob. Yeah, just at, robertbrentgove.com and I'll add you. Just put uh, you. one, just put add me to the 1% email and, um, and send it. 
you, you, it's a funny thing. Someone says, Hey, if you forget somebody's name, just go, how do you spell your first name again? And I said to this guy and he goes, Bob, B O B. <laughs> Sometimes you're going to get found out, man. <laughs> I said, all right, all right. I can't remember. I admit it. Just laugh at yourself, you know, just laugh. People love people who are lighthearted and, and kind. That's some of my magic and secret sauce. Um, it's my job to take instant, massive action. It's my job to create the culture in my organization, a culture of love, fun, forgiveness, encouragement, positivity, financial responsibility, and joy. It's my job to celebrate our people, to praise, uh, to raise the temperature of the rooms I enter. It's my job to glorify Christ. It's my job to realize what we focus on expands. I'll say that last quote again. It's my job to realize what we focus on expands. What are you focused on? I know what I'm focused on. I'm focusing on love, growth, kindness, growing EXP, sales, getting listings, buyers, production, creating an atmosphere, masterminding. How can we grow? And, and you will be gripped with fear if you talk to people that are saying this market's going to a hell in a handbasket. Listen to me. People are, are prospering and doing well in this market. Find those people, hang out with them. The other people are like, she's going down. There's a lawsuit and all the companies are getting sued. Oh my gosh. You know, there's going to be appeal after appeal after appeal. It's going to happen years, five, 10 years from now. We'll see how that thing shakes out. Do not entertain that. What you focus on, if you're focused on the lawsuit and you read about how so and so's getting sued, and Gary Keller's getting sued, and Glenn Sanford got sued, and, and blah, 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 or whatever it is. You get all worked up about all, all kinds of stuff. Guard the doorway of your mind. That's Jim Rome, because it leads to the heart. You know, if you let things in here, it drops to here. Then you're like, then you're paralyzed with fear. So I, I wrote out a few things, and Rob, I'm going to get this to you. We won't use them all, but I wrote out something. I'm going to, I'm opening my new office. It's 8,000 square feet. It's beautiful. And not that you have to do that, but that runs a global real estate company. The sun never sets on it. 24 nations, over 40,000 agents, which over almost 20,000 in our seven levels. But I wrote, I want to put this on the walls. These are these are what what I value. I think hopefully you'll you'll benefit from hearing some of these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read this to you. And you get a copy of today's one percent club. It's on my YouTube channel. But it says we value fitness for your energy is key to moving forward. We believe in the power of focus for what you focus on expands. We believe in bold initiatives for fortune favors the bold. We believe in people who are willing to fail, say it wrong, do it wrong for failure is the key to success. We believe in the power of proximity for who you hang out with matters. We value humility for God resists the proud and lifts up the humble. We value taking a stand for if you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Got one more of these. And then we're going to open up for a little Q&A and wrap this thing up. We value the first step for the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. We value the dreamers of this world for the future belongs to the brave souls bold enough to forge ahead and chase after their passions. We value gratitude for a thankful heart makes for a beautiful soul. We value love and forgiveness. We value the doers for it's not magic, it's motion. We value the givers for the refresh, the weary and downtrodden. We value our faith for without faith, there is no meaning. We value fun for life is too short for a full-time job. Finally, we value family, for they are our purpose, our greatest legacy. So some cool things I'm going to take from that and have them beautifully put on the wall. We may put up three or four or five of those. We may not do anything, but Rob, I'll, I'll get this to you. I just, what is it we value? What do you, you value? What are you talking about all the time? So I want to wrap up today's message with this. I really believe that proximity is power. So two things, A, create a Christmas celebration. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Give me some hot chocolate in your office. I don't have an office. 
go to First American, go to Old Republic, go to Guild, go to Chase, do something with your mortgage broker. And it, it my my parties on Friday night were 12 people. I was new, right? You start where you start. I'd have 12, 15, you know, people. That was it. You don't need everyone thinks I have to have 200 people, 500 people I have to invite all the EXP agents. No, if someone wants to come, invite them, but invite your agents. Don't don't do a party for a hundred people and you have three people there. It's not your place to do that, right? If your group has a hundred, you get a hundred there, and you have five or ten orphan agents, so they hear about. Can I come? Yeah, come. That's how I roll. I invite everybody to be a part of what I'm doing at EXP. I have no secret sauce. Everything I know is at brentcove.com. It's on my YouTube channel. It's on my podcast. I hold nothing back, right? It's all there. So I, I want to say this. Do something fun with your group. Like plan it right now. Get off this Zoom and plan it. Number one in December. Very important to do that. Number two, what you want to do is you want to attend. Come to Maui. Come, you go to brentgove.com, click on the button, come hang out in Maui, make the investment. You're like, well, I don't deserve it. Listen to me. I flew 3000 miles round trip again and again and again to get around Craig Proctor. And then guess what? I became like Greg Proctor as far as my production. I started to earn $3.8 million a year. That's not bad, you know? And because I, I, I was never convenient. Like it's not convenient for you to come to Maui. But where are you going to get to hang out with people like Glenn Sanford and Jay Kinder or whoever happens to be there this year on the beach? And it's a small group, 150 of us. It's a small group. But you're golfing Kapalua with us. You're snorkeling. You're looking at the whales and the sea turtles. We're going to luau's together. We're going to Whaler's Village together. If you want to hang out every single day, have lunch, have dinner, hang out, proximity for a week, boom, Right. And, and if, you're, if you're not in a position to go to Maui, then I want you to come to Cabo. Again, you can come to either one of these. You can find out about all everything you need to know at brentgove.com. And I'm telling you what, Maui's going to sell out. You're going to miss it. Take action. Come today. It's the end of January and the beginning of February. Sell out. Cabo sells out all the time. We shut it down all the time. No more, no more admission. So come to Cabo in March and get... A shot in the arm, get re-inspired. Um, you think here's what here's what some of you are saying, and people watch this video. Well, I've been before, I've been to seven Tony Robbins, and the one I went to by myself two weeks ago, because Kathy goes, Baby, I want to hang out with the kids. I go, she goes, You go for us. And I did. I went by myself. And I'm telling you, it was the most meaningful, impactful Tony Robbins event. Uh, people are like, why are you go? How many of these have you been to? I go. I'm 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 at the beginning. I've been to seven. I'll probably go to 70. When you've arrived, you're done. You're like a cooked turkey, baby. It's over for you. You're on the chop. I've, I've heard it all before. Yep. You're you're you are. <laughs> I've heard it all before. That person's in big trouble. If that's you right now, slap yourself in the face. Give yourself a good slap. Because you know what? When the student is reached ready, the teacher will appear. All of a sudden, guess what? Things hit me differently this time. That I'm, I'm here. It's very similar. UPW after UPW after UPW. I know the process. I kind of know what it is. It was so good. It was phenomenal. And I heard things I needed to hear. And I have a reason for expecting a, a way better 2024. I'm stoked. But I'm putting good stuff in and good stuff's going to come out. What are you putting in? You're watching the news? You're watching about Israel and Hamas. It, it, it can freak you out. You know, you, your Chinese laboratories got you down. Chinese hackers, who's got you down? Is it the Nigerians? Is it the Iranians? Or, you know, is it the Americans? Is it our doggone, you know? And so here's the deal. No country in the world is perfect. And the U.S. is not perfect. And I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? Like, raise your hand, I'm perfect. I never say anything mean. I never mistreat anyone. I, I never forget to say thank you. And I am Mother Teresa. I am, you know, raise your hand. We will we, we'll beat you up right now. We'll, we'll, we'll make, you know, we'll work you over. So here's the deal. EXP isn't perfect. The United States is not perfect. But I think EXP is the best real estate company out there. I really believe it. I think the United States is, I've traveled the globe. It's the best 
country in the world. It isn't perfect and it's not heaven. I get it. And we have problems like any family. EXP is a family. The United States is like a family. And guess what? Families have problems and we've got stuff we need to work on. So you do your part. Vote, do your civic duty, love, give, share, and get ready for the best year of your life. Because guess what, man? There are people who prosper at times like this. And you know when people switch companies? When they're suffering. When did I go to e uh, Keller Williams? It was end of 2008, beginning of 2009, in the middle of winter, in the middle of it. It took a few years to get me to budge. I am jumping on a Zoom right after this with like massive team after massive team after massive team after massive team. Four big teams, probably 50 agents, 20 agents, 38. Every one of them sells two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred homes a year. They're all coming to EXP. They're all coming right now. Yeah. And, and so the guy goes, well, I'll tell you what, why don't we put this team here? And would you like to be their sponsor instead of me? And you can have them. I'm like, oh, my gosh. We told somebody else, hey, we'll put you here. You'll get my help and you'll get their help. Like, oh, my gosh. And then, hey, we'll put you here and you'll get help from boom, 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 boom. They're all, all the dominoes. I'm getting here. I won't say what state it in. It's a big deal. These are like the biggest. And they're all coming to EXP. They're coming. And so this is... A, pain causes people to take action and 2024 is going to have some chaos it's going to have a extra helpings of pain but do not be afraid be of good cheer because you know who to lean on in a time like this we love you i know who i lean on the big man upstairs himself absolutely that is no joke I draw my strength from that. I don't draw my strength from Glenn Sanford. Glenn Sanford's not the big I love Glenn. That is not a disrespectful thing but who you hang out with matters. Who do you draw strength with? Who's speaking into your life? Anyways, I love you all. We are at 6.03. We'll be back in seven minutes with Mastering Sales with Brent Cove. I do have time for two quick, good questions. Don't just ask a question, but if you've got a good question, I promise you a couple of questions. It's cool if you don't, but I'm going to see if anybody wants, hey, what about Maui? What about Cabo? What about this or, or, or whatever? Anybody got one? You could now unmute yourself or put your hand up. So I see it throws you to the left-hand corner of my screen. I probably lost you when I said I got time for two really good questions. I was like, oh, crap, I don't want to ask my question now. I don't think it qualifies being really good. All right. We'll be back. Oh, Drew. Drew has his hand up. Go ahead, Drew. What? Drew's under the gun. I like it. He's got huevos. Go ahead, Drew. What's your good hey, question? I'm we will judge you. I've been enjoying giving the one quote a week on the 1%. So I got one for you. All right, let's hear from your, from your man, Tony Robbins. When you trade in your expectations for appreciation, your entire world changes. Come on, baby. Expectations, it doesn't happen. But if you appreciate, you're just grateful for whatever does happen. That's so good. And then one more Tony, Tahoe Tony from Incline Village. This is a Tony day. Tahoe Tony, what's up, buddy? I see your hand raised. You got to unmute yourself if you're talking. We cannot hear you. You got to unmute your mic. Tahoe Brent. Tony. Hey, buddy. Hey, Brent. Hey. I love being at UPW with you. Quick question. Tell me more about your inner circle for Cabo. Yeah, inner circle for Cabo. Um, in fact, what we'll do is... We're doing it. Um, we're doing Cabo. We're on a yacht. We're doing masterminding my presidential suite. We're going out to dinners. We're having a beach dinner. It's the sunsets with live music. It's going to be an insane weekend. I'm trying to model it after Tony Robbins Platinum Partners, except his is a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a couple, minus ten thousand a person. It's not nearly as expensive. But the cool thing is after. The, and we're going to mastermind on the yacht for about an hour. The yacht's going to be a lot of fun and hanging out and all that stuff. But um, go ahead. You, you fly in March 1st and then Saturday the 2nd. There's 15 employees on the yacht. We're going to have steak and lobster on the yacht. It is it is truly a 135-foot yacht. It's it's amazing. But um, So that's on Saturday. On Sunday, March 3rd, 9 to noon, mastermind in my presidential suite at the Hyatt Ziva. Then we're all going to go have lunch together. Then we're going to hit the pool all the afternoon. And then we're having a very special dinner. In December, the 7th, 8th, and 9th, and we'll be putting that information up here. It's a year from now. We're doing a um, EXP Island here in Puerto Rico, we call it. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be the inner circle adventure. We're going to run through... El Yunque, El Yunque. It's the, one of the only 
um, um, rainforests in North America. And if you've never been in a rainforest, it is a treat. Waterfalls, swimming, hiking, all that stuff. If you don't want to do that, you could go to the spa. And then we're also going to go sailing. We're also going to play golf, but we're also going to mastermind. But I'm going to try to make it like really high end. And we're going to do some crazy stuff. So for the whole year, it's 10 grand. Come hang out with us and see who shows up. Just the people that that do that. We have some couples that have both signed up. They dropped $20,000 on the event. It's small. There's only going to be like 25, 30 of us. It's not like 250, 30 of us. I wanted to create something small. Anyone can come open to everybody at all of EXP. And then uh, probably in the chat, um, uh, Rob, is our chat still broken, Rob? Um, uh, all my stuff says it's on, but I, I, I'll, I'll get that. Is anybody fixed. seeing Cabo, anything in the chat? Yeah, there's no chat. There's no chat. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I just looked at all this. It's Cabo2024.com. All the details are there. Cabo2024.com has information on the inner circle. Plus, we could email it to him, Rob, as well. Yeah. It's all going in the email that's coming out tomorrow. Correct. Good. So Rob will get that to all of you tomorrow, along with David or Pat. I can't. What's his name? How do you say his name? David Ben Patrick. I don't know his name, but I love Patrick the guy. Patrick and David. David. Yeah, that guy. Anyways, I love him. If you've ever heard him, I just sit there watching him going, oh, my gosh, this guy's a communicator. He's highly intelligent. And he is. I like what it's coming out of his mouth. Anyways, he's, he treats everybody with respect, but he's he's not afraid to say it like it is. All right, you guys, love you. We're on in three minutes with Mastering Sales with Frank Gove. Um, uh, thank you, Tony, for your question, and we'll see you in three minutes. Bye, everyone.